experiment. What I have to do today is take some photographs of the panels and because I'm tracking to see how the different fouling communities develop when each community is set at a different uh, spatial arrangement to see the influence on dispersal on the development and community assembly processes that are occurring. And also I have these panels here that I have to switch out with panels that are on the, uh, on the experiment. These panels are important because they track the amount of dispersal that's occurring between the communities. So here we go. Here is an example of an isolated panel. This panel is used as a control. As you can see, it's not in a meta community arrangement. This is one of the meta community. This is uh, made out of PVC, and there are four developed communities at the end of those long PVC pieces. You can see the fouling communities there. In the middle is a blank panel that is used to measure the amount of recruitment that's occurring. And weekly we take that panel and we take that panel back to the lab and count the number of recruits on the panel and then we replace that panel with another blank panel. So you can see these this meta community experiment is set up in a in a sandy area to limit the amount of background recruitment that's going on so that most of the recruitment that we measure on these panels are from the the adjacent panels uh, that are part of the meta community experiment. We also do have other blank panels set out within around this the array of experiments to measure the amount of background recruitment that's going on. Quite happy down there. Been seeing a number of flounder this year, more than usual. Here's Joe Mangiofica, Scuba Joe working on another meta community. You can see here that this is a much uh, a smaller one, so this is a different spatial arrangement. This is a sort of much closer, so dispersal distances between those communities are much shorter. And we've been able to measure the, the amount of dispersal that occurs between smaller communities. Indeed, it's much higher than the larger meta communities, particularly for a few organisms such as the bryozoans, bugula, um, neratina as well as diplosoma. So we're motoring back into the Quantic Estuary where the University of Connecticut at Avery Point is located, where we have our docks. After another successful dive, we were able to accomplish all of our objectives. We took pictures of my uh, meta community experiment, and we also were able to exchange those panels that I showed you before. We got some footage with the University of Connecticut diving program's camera and everything turned out well. We had a great dive. We were able to see flounder, scup, triggerfish. It was pretty amazing. Over and out.